Speed Booster in Metroid Dread is the most amazing item to use for speedrunning. Well, yeah, we know why speedrunners love this item. The game teaches you how to use Shine Spark, which is required for some puzzles to collect missiles and E tanks as an example. But in this video, I would like to teach you the secrets of Speed Booster, how to instantly use Shine Spark mid air, how to keep your speed boost, and how great it is against enemies and bosses. Let's start with Speed Booster itself. Speed Booster can be activated by clicking the movement joystick while moving. If you have enough room to run, you'll activate Speed Booster. If you run against a wall or drop off a ledge, you'll lose your Speed Boost. When you jump and shoot mid-air, that also loses Speed Boost. By jumping to a wall and wall jumping off from it, you're able to keep going with your Speed Boost. With wall jumping, it's important to hold away from the wall after the wall jump, but you don't have to time pressing away from the wall. Did you know that on this clip I was only holding left on this section? You probably didn't. You don't have to worry about holding away from the wall in small spaces like these. You are also able to use slide and morph ball to maintain your speed boost as well. It's tricky but very rewarding to get through morph ball holes with speed booster. Now let's move on to shine spark. To set up shine spark, you'll need to have speed booster activated. While running, you have to hold down on your joystick. If Samus does this animation, you have now stored a Shine Spark. You have 5 seconds to decide whether you use your Shine Spark or not. With Shine Spark, you're able to launch yourself to all 8 directions. To activate Shine Spark on ground, you simply press the jump button while standing still, then hold the direction you want to go to. Shine Spark can be released mid air too. First, you want to move, then jump so you don't accidentally activate Shine Spark. When you are mid-air, you want to shoot to stop the spinning animation, then press the jump button without touching the joystick to activate Shine Spark. Pressing free aim button, which is an L button to me, also can get you out of the spinning animation, and then you will just press the jump button without touching the joystick. However, that is not all. There are methods to activate Shine Spark instantly, and those are simply called Instant Shine Spark. On ground, you can instantly shine spark by moving to the right or to the left with flash shift, then immediately press the jump button. Using melee counter perks for instant shine spark too. Standing still, looking up, then pressing the jump button also activates shine spark instantly. And finally, how to do instant shine spark mid air. You need to have Samus in spinning animation, hold direction you want to go to, then press jump and shoot buttons at the same time. You can release Shine Spark's topart slopes to keep going with your speed boost, then activate a new Shine Spark, and so on. This was introduced in Zero Mission and Fusion. And finally, how strong Shine Spark is as an attack? Shine Spark in this game is fixed. It means that it can either one-shot enemies, damage them about a half, or it does nothing. Most of the time, all normal enemies in this game gets one-shotted even with just using speed booster. For bosses, they all take half of their HP damage, meaning that they cannot be one-shotted. Except for X-Cores. Raven Peak, the final boss of this game, is immune to Shine Spark. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you'll enjoy going fast in Metroid Thread once you obtain Speed Booster. Thanks for watching.